there's still a little bit of problem that we really couldn't see when we uh, adjusted this before. That's really not a big issue right now. But just to show you that we can fix it, I'm going to go ahead and go to line edit mode. And I'm just going to select these lines here. And I'm going to move them out a little ways. Now with the lines enabled, I can see a whole lot better. Okay. Now, one more time. You have to pay attention to a lot of these things. Because now, whereas before we were really roughing it, I don't want to get this uh, curvature wrong. So we are going to extrude only edges, okay. And we're going to take them down a little bit, alright? And place it there. Okay, we're going to hit extrude again. Alright. As you can see up close here, all I'm doing is I'm making a little circle because the Pantera hood, if I can find my let's see documents. Nope. Blueprints. There we go. Okay, if we take a look at the Pantera's hood, all right, you can see that there's a little bit of curvature. It goes down and then curves in. So we're going to model that in the car. Now some of the other models of the Pantera, as you'll see here, actually have an even more elaborate curve to it. That one not so much, but this is what we're going to try to achieve in the hood. So uh, from here we're going to extrude one more time. And only edges, and we're coming down just about right to there. Okay, very, very good. Now, uh, one thing that we did here, we don't really need this extruding up in here, and I will fix that as we go, but we do need to line it up so. Notice I'm being kind of really, really exact on this. Okay. Now, hit it. Wow, look at that. Does that look good? Good? Yep. As you can see, this is where the detail modeling really begins to pay off. Because you can do this detail modeling anytime you want. Uh, let's look at it from a different angle. Okay. Ooh. Zoom in. As you can see, looks very good. This is what we want. All right, good job. All right, now from here, we are going to go in and select these points. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to delete a lot of this and start over again. I could have modeled it separately, but just to show you that what we're kind of doing here. All right. I'm going to come down here and extrude again. On the edges. Okay. All right. I'm going to make the one extrusion here. 
Okay. Now, before I go any further, actually, let me just go ahead and extrude the rest of it. Might as well. Okay. I'll go to the center. And then we'll tie them in. I want to leave myself some working room here because we are going to have to shape this hood. The hood does have a slight bend in it. If it was completely flat, I could just go over to here. Uh, now, as you see, this is totally flat, but to shape this, we're going to have to go back in and cut some notches in. And I'll show you how to do that in the smoothing part of this tutorial. So here I'm going to hit this GX. I'm just going to slide those over. Overlap them. GX. Okay. Alright. so I can see it. Okay. Hit it. Woohoo, baby. Looks good. All right. Uh, looks pretty good so far. Our hood's really starting to take shape. It's taking shape. A little bit of wipe there, but I'll fix that. Okay, well, that'll be it for this section of the tutorial. I'm going to finish the overall tutorial 7 by modeling the rear hatch and we will do that momentarily if you're planning to jump on in and hit the next one. So thanks for watching my tutorials, leave your comments and I hope this tutorial has helped you. Uh, again I like a lot of feedback because I will be doing some more tutorials and the more feedback you give me and constructive criticism the better because this will help me to design better products for people in the future. Okay, so long and I'll see you in the next installment. Bye-bye.